All right, thanks, Coach. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity to, to share with you guys. Um, I just want to go over a couple things um, today. Uh, really, it gets down to uh, our zone blitz system at, at Middletown, um, how we have simplified it, and then how we teach them some things. So uh, within this presentation, uh, it's really just uh, just an overview of, of what we do, part of our playbook, and then how, how we go about actually implementing it. Uh, my contact information uh, is right there on the screen. I'm a defensive coordinator. My name is JJ Ortiz at Middletown Area High School. We're a, we're a 3A school right near Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Um, we've, we've had some success in the last couple of years. We've been a state runner up in AAA uh, three out of the last four years. Uh, last year, we, uh, we lost in the district title game uh, by, by three points. Um, so we've had a couple of years here where we've had some success and our zone blitz system has been a big part of that success. Um, if you want to get in contact with me, if you have any questions about anything, you can see right there, my, uh, my email is right there, my phone number. You can, you can give me a call, shoot me a text, whatever you want to do, it, it is cool with me. So like I said, we're, we're a triple A team in the state of Pennsylvania. And so essentially what that means is that we have anywhere from 135 to 180, as high as 190 kids graduating in a class. Um, so it's not like we have a ton of kids, uh, a ton of kids to choose from in our, in our school. Um, so what that ends up meaning for us is that we'll, we'll end up with a lot of kids playing both ways. And that's, that's really why I, I wanted to share with you, with you all, what exactly it is that we do and from a teaching standpoint, because I think, I think we, uh, I think we do a good job of kind of disseminating some information, uh, being multiple on defense without it being too complex for our kids to learn. Um, and, and I'll go over a lot of that stuff here in the, uh, in the presentation, uh, just some, some philosophy type things. Uh, we, uh, we're kind of like everyone else in terms of what we want to value on our, in our team, our, on our defense. Uh, we're going to value toughness and effort. And one of the things that we do with that is we, we will actually put our top 15 toughest kids up on the board. And, and that's, a, that's an entire coaching staff thing. And those top 15 are going to play. They're going to play defense for us. Um, it's, it's been good for us. Uh, for us, it allows us to make sure that we have some kids who are going to be within the moment uh, in critical situations, that they're going to be mentally tough, physically tough. Um, and, and that toughness doesn't always mean that they do everything right, but they're just really, really tough kids. Um, so that means that they're going to, they're going to play defense for us. Um, and, and, and from a week to week basis, we're going to grade their effort and their effort grade will indicate how much they end up playing in the following week. Um, so we, we take a lot of pride in those two things. Um, and it's been really, really helpful for us. Uh, so just some uh, statistics to throw out there about our, our defense. So we've led our league, our, our, our league, uh, we play in the mid pen, uh, Harrisburg area, and uh, we've led the league in scoring defense in the last six years. Um, we've been top five in, in the state scoring defense in AAA the last four years. Um, so we've, we've had some success in, in keeping people out of the end zone. Um, in regards to zone blitzing, in 2019, we, we blitzed on 32% of our snaps. Now, out of those snaps, 78% of them were zone blitzes. So zone blitzes isn't just something that we do once in a while. Um, I think if you were to ask the people that we play, it's something that they prepare for um, because it's something that we, we do quite a bit. Uh, then the last, the last uh, little note there, we essentially install our defenses in seven practices. So, and that is eight fronts, 18 different line moves, 42 blitzes, 15 different coverages, and then we'll add in three special personnel packages. So we do that in seven practices. Um, and 
before it was maybe maybe half that in double the amount of practices so the reason i bring that up is because we worked really hard on trying to simplify what it is that we do um, simplify the system simplify the way we teach it um, so that way instead of having our defense um, repped enough that we can institute and call it in a game in week five that we can call it in week one um, so just just wanted to throw that out there as uh, just just a testimony to the, how we do things at Middletown. All right, so just some ph philosophical stuff about zone blitzes. So we believe in zone blitzing because it's a safer way to blitz. Um, it's a safer way to blitz for us because we have eyes on, on cue, we have eyes on the ball, um, instead of eyes locked on a man. Um, it also allows us to fit up to a lot of different things uh, because we're still, again, in an eight-man front, we're much more aggressive, but it allows us to fit up to some things um, from a day one perspective, okay? There's not a whole lot of extra teaching that goes on within our zone blitz package, aside from how we want to blitz, how we want to replace, um, where are our eyes um, for just a couple of people. Um, it also gives us the ability to attack some protections and long yardage. Um, it's going to give us some answers to what teams are doing. And then lastly, you know, kids have to be excited if they're going to, if they're going to execute some things, uh, kids have to be excited about what their jobs are, what it is that they're doing with their teammates. And so the zone blitz package that we put together, the way we, we do it, our kids have given us the feedback that they really, really enjoy getting after it. They enjoy when those calls are, are being sent in from the side. Now, there's a couple of things that we try to, to do schematically versus the run. Uh, zone blitz isn't just going to be something that we do third and long, although it is something that we like in third and long. Uh, but there's some things that we try to accomplish schematically versus the run. Uh, like I said, we're a triple A team, so sometimes we're going to have uh, it, it wasn't that long ago in state championship game, we had 150 pound middle linebacker. Um, so what we can do is we can start to send that kid on some blitzes. So he's not just uh, a sitting duck, so, uh, so to speak, we can send him on some, some blitzes so that we can get him aggressive at the point of attack. Okay. Um, we can also get some moving parts versus blocking schemes. A lot of the, the teams that we play, um, a lot of the coaches that I, that I know, the guys that uh, I've coached against, um, they they talk about the different looks that we give them. But if we can also get some moving parts with it, I think it, it gives us another advantage. Um, we can also outnumber people at the point of attack with, with our zone blitzes. And then lastly, um, we're, with so much being put on uh, the perimeter, getting the ball into space by the offenses today, uh, it gives us an opportunity to give a different look and run support. Um, and that if we can do that and, and mix some things up once in a while for the perimeter players on the offense, then I think we have a, we have a good shot to at least slow them down. Now versus the pass, it's, it's really more about how do we attack the protection more than anything. And we, we try to do, uh, one, two, uh, of four different things in order to attack a passing game with our zone blitz. All right. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll, we'll try to create a three on two at the line of scrimmage. Okay. So we might cover up a center. We might cover up a guard and then send a linebacker, uh, through the a gap with those two guys that were covering up the lineman that they're, they're going to play on an edge of the, those two lines. And, and the idea is that we're going to puncture protection. We always, when we're, we're trying to scheme th some things up as a coaching staff, we talk about puncturing protection quite a bit. How do we get something into the middle of that cup of that cup of the protection? Um, second thing we try to do is we try to create illusions. All right. So, and really what I mean by that is we're, we're coming from one side, but we're going to show you that we might be coming from this side. Okay, so kind of keep it a guessing game for the offense, the quarterback, and the coaches, the coaches that we're going against, um, so that we can uh, manipulate pass protection that way. Uh, 
Another thing that we try to do is we try to cross the center's face, and you'll see in some of the clips is we we like to cross the center's face because for us it's going to disrupt the integrity of almost all the protections that we see. Aside from that center zeroing out and and guards tackles stepping in inside what we call steps protection. Um, aside from that, most protections we're going to get uh, some sort of puncture just from crossing the center's face. Um, and then lastly, we, we want to try to get a two on one versus the back. Now that's greedy. I understand that, but if we can get two on one versus the back and we can fit up correctly to the back with the two people we have on that person, uh, then we should be in a position to be pretty successful. All right. So there's, <clears throat> that's kind of a, a basic philosophy of, of our zone blitz system. Now our, our system itself, um, like I said, we, we try to simplify everything um, as much as we can. And there's really four pillars of us simplifying the system. So our, our front and our secondary strength calls are going to be what we call married. All right. So they're not going to be, a, it's not going to be a divorce system. It's going to be a married system. And the reason we do that is to cut down on teaching, uh, cut down on thinking. Uh, once the kids have the call, they know exactly what's, what's going to happen. Um, we're going to end up in a, in a three deep, three under from a two shell. And it's not a, a three deep, three under system where we're playing uh, some tight thirds and we're playing some match carry deliver underneath. Uh, we're we're going to be just banging on those two seams, dropping inside of three with our three drop and playing basically a country cover three on, on the outside and over top. Uh, we name our positions on the back end. Um, and that's important based on how we call things. All right. And then lastly, we're going to label gaps. Okay. So if we're to go over all this, so right here for us is a divorced alignment. All right. So we, we have based on this formation, uh, we have our three tech set to the tight end side. Well, our overhang and free safety is to the two quick receiver side. Okay. So that's our divorced alignment, but our Mary side. Now we're going to make sure that our, our tackle, our inside backer, our free safety overhang, that they're all to the same side. Okay. Um, so now we're married up and this is important because now the free safety is always going to know that when we call strong safety blitzes that probably going to be replaced. Okay. Uh, the will, when they go the weak safety, I replace him. Okay. So it helps us from, uh, an, an understanding our responsibility standpoint. Again, we're, we're three deep, three under coverage in our zone blitz. Um, and it doesn't matter on formation that that's how we're going to play it. Okay. And we understand that we're going to be giving some things up. We understand, uh, that it's not the perfect answer for everything an offense can do. But if our kids know that's what we're in, here's where we're going with it. Then our thinking is they can play faster. Okay. So again, we're three, three under. So we're just saying that the, uh, the strong safety, which we call our striker, he's out of he's out of the picture. So our free safety knows they're going to drop down. Now they're going to be the two, the two drop. Then next over is three. Then next over is two. Okay. And then if the uh, the other safety, if they're not if they're not replacing, then they're in the middle of the field. Okay. Um, unless we were to blitz a corner, then we got a rotation going to that blitzing corner. All right. But again. Our two drops, we're not, we're not like, we're not carrying outside vertically, anything like that. We're going to drop inside, bang the heck out of it. And then we're going to match up on the inside hip of whoever the terminal number two is. Three drop, we're dropping inside of the number three receiver. And we're, we're carrying that thing vertical. That's as close as we'll get to any match carry deliver concept. Now we'll name our positions, like I said. So our, our strong safety is the striker. Our middle backer is the backer. Our weak side linebacker is the will. Our weak safety is the sword. And then our free safety is the flyer. Okay. And so we'll then add in some gap calls. Okay. So we label our gaps. And the reason that we label our gaps is it gives our guys an understanding of where the heck they need to go. 
Okay. So our strong side gap calls are all baseball terms. Okay. So strong A is single, strong B is double, strong C is triple, strong D is home. And then our weak side, Abel Baker charge. <clears throat> and for us, um, it's been pretty simple for our kids to understand those concepts. Okay. We've divided them into strong and weak. We've given them different names. And for, from there, it's just kids understanding what gaps are what. Okay. So the way we put this all together is we are going to, if we're going to make a call, we're going to name the blitzer. So let's say we're just calling striker and we want the strong safety off the edge. We're going to call striker home. Okay. Home being strong side D gap. So we got striker home call. Um, and for everyone else, besides the striker on the striker home and then the free safety who's dropping down and banging that scene drop uh, for everyone else, they're playing base day one football. Okay. And uh, now there's some things in run support. We like our, our two drops, our, our scene drops. They're the force player, no matter what um, three drops, they're going to be the inside out guy on the football, things like that. Um, so we might have to teach those things, just understand where kids fit up uh, according to the schemes, but they're basically playing day one football. All right. So again, simplifying the system where the kids know who's going, they know where they're going and then everyone else is just playing. Okay. Um, a couple of things that kids need to know, aside from the safeties knowing who they need to replace, our D line, sometimes we're going to send people in a gap that the D lineman is lined up in. All right. So in that situation, our D lineman is going to move to the next available inside gap. Okay. All right. And I have a couple clips here that are going to, that are going to explain that. All right. So here's a picture of striker home. So we got, Free safety replacing our middle backers, the, the three, and our wills, the two. Everyone else here is playing base. And if we wanted to go striker triple, now it's going to change the angle of our, our striker just a little bit. Uh, but you can see what ends up happening. Because the strong end is in the triple hole, now he's going to go to the next available inside gap. The tackle's in the B gap. The strong end's going to go all the way into the A gap. Okay, so it allows us that simple call allows us some movement, which which is nice. So here we go with, with some striker home. And here's a two on one versus the back, like we were talking about. We're able to fit up and make a play when we need it. Okay, again, we're, we're, the guys are just playing base defense. And this the, the flexibility of this system for us, so we know this team likes to run a lot of sweep at us. Well, we don't want to call triples, triples so they can just cave the edge. So we go home with it so we can have a, an edge set right away. Here's some more striker triple. You can see the movement that happens. Now, what's nice about this here, here we are in a situation third and long. Ball's got to get out. You know, they're ending up in a fourth down situation. See, our three tech isn't exactly doing what our three tech should be driving up this outside, driving on that edge of, of the guard. But you can see how, how that stuff really starts to open up. Here's some striker home versus zone blitz stuff or some zone read stuff, excuse me. So again, our, our guys are, are playing base defense 
and we'll dig our, our end on day one. So he's, he's playing base defense. Everyone else is, is fitting up. Some more striker triple. You can see how good it is versus big on big protections. And we're a little bit messed up on the back end, but included that clip so you could really see what's going on inside the box there. Okay, again, we can we can send the striker, we can send him on home, triple, we can we can send any one of these guys anywhere we want. I'm just including a couple of these, a uh, couple of different calls that are more popular with, with us. All right, so flyer double. So our flyer is blitzing through the double gap. Our three tech, because they are lined up in the double hole, they're going to just go to the next available inside gap, which is the A gap. Striker is a two drop. Backers a three. Will's a two. Okay. And this is like any three, three under three deep, you're going to give up these flat routes. Okay. Center backer. All right. So the one, the one thing we will do is when we run nose, so you can really do it one of two ways, however you want to do it. But because going back to our philosophy of cross and face, now we're going to cross the center's face anytime we get a chance. So if we if we go into a nose front, okay, we're gonna and we're going back or able. Well, that nose is in that able gap. He's got to cross the center's face. The backer's going to go into the able gap. All right, backer single. It's again getting a three on two at the line of scrimmage. Hopefully, get the puncture, the protection. Okay, just so we're not just throwing some some passing game at you you see this it allows us to get into a really aggressive eight-man front here here we guess correctly and we're sending we're sending our 200 pound linebacker against their 240 pound fullback so gives us a chance to be successful at the point of attack here's some double so we're going to nose double you see it open up they got to get rid of the ball quick Now, usually, usually we will, on the hash here, we'll just drop this safety down and replace, and the free will get to the middle. But this was a game plan thing. more double there's will charge all right so our will our weak side linebacker he's going to be coming off the edge our our weekend he's pitching in because that he's lined up in the charge in the charge gap so now he's pinching in towards the next available inside gap a weak safety's going to drop down he's going to be the bang two seam we got backer at the three striker at the two everyone else is rolling where they need to get to nothing changes with that one either so here we are we're in will baker so will's what's in the b gap Here's a will charge. So there's a lot of multiplicity to what it is that we're doing. Without it being too complicated. I mean, there's there's enough within the system that we can do that that's going to cause offenses some pause. 
okay? May not be anything really groundbreaking, but for us, it's, it, it helps us, it helps us uh, in our quest to be successful on defense. So this is uh, Will Label. Here we're running against an empty set. We're running the wheel charge. So we got sword, we can send sword anywhere we want. Um, this is just a draw up of sword baker. So Will's not going, so they're the two drop. Backer's not going, they're the three. Striker's not going, they're the two. Everyone's rolling where they need to get to. Uh, I think the clips I have here are, are sword charge, so we're just coming off the edge. So everyone else is just playing base football. Okay, so it's almost like we're just in a... Almost just looks like we're just in a playing four four with an aggressive outside linebacker. Okay, so we can get really simple with it, and that's that's really the, the simple part of it. Now we have things built in within our system that we can use as tags to help build on our base blitzes. Um, so one of the things that we will do is we will call a read, okay? So when we call backer read, what that means to our kids is that the backer is going to show blitz in the gap they're aligned, okay? Um, our, our will will then run Will Baker, okay? So our backer shows, and then we'll drop out, and our will will then run the blitz. Again, that goes back to the idea that we're creating illusions for the offense, okay? Here we here we see our back up in line scrimmage. He drops out. He's going to drop inside a three, and we're running Will Baker. Now we're just running wheel charge with it. So we're still running the read stuff. We're just blitzing from somewhere else. Okay, we can even add some line moves to it. So we have a nose front, we're running a tan stunt, so our tackle the nose and running backer able with the wheel read, okay? So right now, our wheel's up on the line of scrimmage. We're in a nose front. So you can see there's a lot of moving parts there. Get a better look at it on the uh, tight copy. Okay, and that's, that's nothing groundbreaking, but we're just using the things that are built within our system. We're layering it together to come up with something that looks a little bit complex. Um, here's just some more uh, read stuff. So we're going Hulk read and then going uh, Smith or yeah, what we call Smith, which is a weak side linebacker, full line move away. Here we're running a, a will read, and then we're gonna bring the Hulk from the field. And then we can add some line moves along with it. Um, so there's just a full slant. So now we got some crosses going ahead and with uh, on both sides of the line, both sides of the center, excuse me, with a backer single. Okay. 
This is against uh, one of the more storied programs in Pennsylvania, Aliquippa. Here's a Smith cross. So we're just running a cross stunt with the wheel coming off the side. Again, just trying to give a different look. Now, all of those things are within a con conceptual system. We still have some things that are conceptual that aren't your uh, just basic single linebacker type of stuff. Um, so our Apache system, um, our Apache is our double A gap system. Uh, Apache has two A's. So, uh, so that's why we, we call it Apache. So we have our linebackers walked up and we're in what we call a split front. So we're uh, double threes and wide fives on, on the edge. Um, and we'll run what we call Apache bail, which is essentially our two walked up linebackers are reading the center's block. Okay. So if the center blocks to you, you drop, you're now the three drop. The other linebacker blitzes weak safety is in two drop strikers, the two drop everyone else rolling where they need to go. So here we are. We're, up in the A gap center blocks of the one linebacker, he drops out, allows us again to puncture that protection pretty easily. See the linebacker pop out of there, center goes to block and he pops out, other linebackers pretty free. Now we're just a little screwed up on coverage here, but again, the, the, uh, the protection is punctured and we're getting, we're getting good pressure. Our cover blitzes, uh, that's just a, a boundary corner blitz for us. So we're going to have weak side rotation. Uh, the other three underneath guys, they're, they're normal, normal stuff as if we were to send our, our flyer, or our weak safety. And I know a lot of teams, this is where I was talking about before, like once we, once we run something or once we call something, that's what we're going with. So even though we have two into the boundary here, we're, we're still going to run this cover stuff. We're not going to check the will. Here's Cobra. And you can add some tags to this. Uh, this this back was pretty special. Anytime he would check up, we'd have our blitzer check up. It was, it was, uh, it was pretty dangerous once he got the ball in his hands. So that's what, that's why you see that, that kid doing what he's doing there. But we're running Cobra. And this is this isn't really so much zone blitz so much as it's it's us making it look like a cobra stunt but we got some different line moves but again because our system is so simple um it, it makes it easier to teach some more complex stuff so we have the corner right now he's on a run pass he's actually on a run pass read 
So if he would get past, he'd pop out and be the flat player here. And we're just eating things up with our end, looping with the nose. Our nose is a spiller now. And we just keep it going to the sideline. really good versus some boundary run stuff and then we'll splat we'll splat the the trap guy as well and just keep working it even more to the sideline here we are running it again fortunate to get a takeaway here now we'll send our, our single blitzers into some special packages. So here, just to kind of give you an idea of what it is that we're doing. So we, we've taken some, some kids off the field and we've put uh, some DBs on the field. We, we're, we're on the field with one linebacker and that's our will linebacker. And we're playing man free across the board. Um, and so we're able to run because our gaps are labeled and our will understands all the gaps we're able to take that one line linebacker and blitz them wherever we want uh and, and place a man behind it so that's what you're seeing here there's a couple clips so right here is will double Here we are running Will single. I'm just gonna scroll through a couple of these just to give you guys an idea. Will able. So again, we're we're able to get in special packages. We're able to still run our system, give different looks, place a man not have to give up the flats by playing man free. And really we were able to install this in a pre-practice meeting. I'll just skip through a couple of these. This is a lot of this is the same stuff. It's it's a will going all over the place. Okay, so how we practice this, um, all of this stuff, putting it all together, because even though I'm saying it's simple, the kids still need to practice it. All right. Um, so the way we do this is uh, just a couple of different. Uh, drills that we make sure that we hit as much as we can. Okay. So our first drill is called a, what we call AS drill. And really what that is, is we get everyone lined up on cones all the way down the field. And we have them go through the blitzes and the calls uh, on those cones. Okay. And now during the year, we'll script our blitzes. Um, but it's not just so much the kids know what the blitz is. We are coaching up footwork, we're coaching up their eyes, we're coaching up their technique. And this is a, a drill where all the players and the entire coaching staff gets involved. So we'll have all the way down the field, we'll have four groups at some points. Um, and then with some, some extra kids at, at the end, all right? Uh, now, with, with the first group, we'll, we'll mix up as much as we can in terms of formation, field position with all the calls okay and so that gets our kids used to visualizing formations it also gets them used to understanding field position um, where they are on the field where threats are on the field where they have to get to um, and it also gets them to understand how they fit up to things okay because as soon as we run a striker home we can say okay zone read to this side zone read opposite who's fitting up on who, okay? And it gives us an opportunity to go through um, some reps, some mental reps 
as well as physical reps without really banging our, our kids up too much. So here's here's us doing AS drill with one group in in our gym. And so we'll give them the call. They they run through it. We're coaching up eyes. We give them another call. We might change the formation. We might not. We might say the field's this way, boundaries that way. See, right now they're checking on formation. What's the formation? Okay. Where are we supposed to be? But this right now, what you're seeing is actually a slow version of AS drill. Okay. We can actually rip through uh, quite a few different scenarios, quite a few different reps, um, different situations in a short amount of time. We'll usually have about, about 10 minutes planned for that. Um, and if we're just running through blitzes, we can get 20, 25 different blitzes with our more experienced kids. Um, your younger kids, um, your more inexperienced kids, they might struggle with it at first. You might get through 10, 12 with them. Uh, but our older kids, you could get quite a significant number of reps with, with those kids. Now, once we got alignment and stunt taken care of, we'll actually go through motions like on the field. So now we're working on getting lined up. Now what you're seeing is a lot of our, our base alignment, but we'll, we'll get a spacing hose out here and we're actually working through uh, different motions for that week, formations that we're gonna see, what happens to, what happens to who, what, where, where do you align now? We're doing everything out of a cover two alignment with our zone blitz stuff. So how does that change our alignment? Does it change our angles? Things like that. Okay, so once we get AS drill and we get uh, our alignment drill taken care of, now we'll work on actually, we'll work on our bang scene. Uh, we'll work on our bang scene drop. We'll work on the outside third. We'll work on the middle third um, when we'll do that using a third drill. Okay. And so what we'll do is we, we coach up, we make sure we coach up our disruptions um, underneath and we coach up our zone points um, with our deep guys. Uh, we start with four verts with no ball just to get kids used to understanding like where they fit along with, with threats, things like that. But we'll actually, in the season, we'll work our, our zone blitz uh, coverage versus their favorite pass plays or what are their favorite third down route combinations with no ball. Okay, so we'll actually throw some scheme at them uh, during the season. Um, again, we're not going to just go through things just to go through things. So uh, most of the time, if not all the time, we're trying to coach up blitz technique for the blitzer, aiming points, and again, we're mixing up field positions. So we're working half the field in this third drill. Again, you see, we're just trying to work verts. So here we are working the overhang with the bang seam drop. We got guys running in the middle of the field. We got outside third being coached up. And then we'll go full field with it. Here we are working against, uh, looks like a team that had, this is one of their favorite third down route combinations. They clear it out, come inside with one. So we're, we're just coaching up our bang scene players to be able to see through the disruption and see one coming back inside. All right, so that's the back end versus pass, and then we then we get into inside drills. Um, and really, like what we're trying to do is we're trying to script first down runs, run down situations, make sure that option is is taken care of in terms of people understanding their responsibilities. Uh, we're coaching up fits. Fits are a big one for us. Um, and the drills you're going to see, we're we're trying to coach up fits more than anything. Uh, we're going to coach up blitz technique against moving linemen. 
Uh, we're not always going to blitz into plays. We try to we kind of we try to put stress on on our kids, so we're not always putting them in the most optimum position. Um, and then we'll we'll do this at least two sessions in preseason. And then once we get in season, about a quarter of our script um, is going to be um, zone blitz versus run. Okay. So this is a drill that we call inside Skelly, and what we're seeing here is we will set up the keys for all of our players, okay, uh, all of our defenders. So we got a spacing hose here to make sure we get the proper um, we we get the proper uh, spacing, and then we got backs, and then we'll actually put guys in the formation as well. Um, but essentially, we're just setting up an offense just with key. That's what we don't have centers here. Um, everyone's going to going to get in a stance and then we'll actually run through a play now we we have uh we have go routes for our offense so we're able to actually rip through quite a few reps with this so here we are we're just working sweep and we're getting fitted up and we're just getting fitted up reading our keys now we start this drill this is more uh what you're seeing here is us running out of some base stuff, but we'll run this drill with some blitz stuff as well. Okay, we're teaching fits. We're teaching uh, footwork, aiming points, fits. We're teaching backside leverage. We're teaching frontside leverage. This has been a really good drill for us. And then this is just, this is something that we'll do at times too. We'll run some team four. So what you're seeing here, what you're seeing here are essentially what's facing you is defense and what's facing away from you is offense. Um, so here, here we have the two end man on line of scrimmage with a back, then up here, two end man on, with, with a back here, okay? The coach is right here. He's telling the offense where to go, and we're just we're just going straight end man to back keys. Okay, both offenses are doing the same thing. And you're able to see how people are leveraging, and you're able to see quite a few quite a few kids here. because everyone's doing the same thing and you're able to see who's taking false steps because everyone's pretty much in a straight line up the field. Well, coach, that's what I got. Uh, again, here's my contact information. Um, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, uh, feel free, shoot me a text, uh, give me a call, shoot me an email. Um, again, I'd love to sit and answer any questions that, that you might have. Uh, we're not, we're not super complex, but what we do, I, I, I have a strong belief that it, it helps us be as successful as we have. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.